Additional Solicitor General Yasanta Kodagoda, appearing for the CID, said the Singapore branch of Interpol has officially informed the CID fugitive former Central Bank Governor Arjuna Mahendran is in Singapore. The Sri Lanka police has emailed the Singapore police to institute action on Arjuna Mahendran as per the red notice issued by Interpol and the arrest warrant issued by Sri Lankan court. Yasanta Kodagoda informed court all measures needed for the extradition of Arjuna Mahendran have been initiated. This year, twice, the fourth magistrate issued an order on Arjuna Mahendran to appear before the CID director and provide a statement with regard to the investigations, but he failed to do so as he had gone overseas. Notice was sent via express mail, a courier service and Interpol. On the 15th of March, a warrant for the arrest of Arjuna Mahendran was issued for failing to comply with a notice issued on him. On the 20th of April, Interpol issued a red notice for the arrest of former Central Bank Governor Arjuna Mahendran. Arjuna Mahendran is accused of conspiring and committing a criminal breach of trust at the controversial auction on the 27th of February 2015, while Arjun Aloysius, Kasun Palisena and Perpetual Treasuries Limited are accused of aiding in the criminal breach of trust committed by Mahendran. Producing a progress report, the state pointed out a money trail from Perpetual Treasuries that was funneled through two of its associate companies, Vault and Row Associates and W.M. Mendes and Company Limited. The state said on one occasion a parliamentarian had given a cheque issued by Walt and Row Associates to a police officer and the officer had in cash the 1 million rupees and handed it back to the MP. It is now reported the MP in question is Dayasri Jasekara. However, the CID notes they will be investigating further to ascertain if the monies were illegally generated by Perpetual Treasuries Limited and disposed to third parties. Another occasion was when a courier from Certis Lanka was given a cheque issued by W.M. Mendis and Company to be encashed and his instructions were to hand over the money to a person seated in a Defender SUV at the car park of the particular bank. The state stressed they have no issue over the legitimate business conducted by this independent service provider. Court issued an order on Certis Lanka to issue details of services provided to Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Vault and Row Associates and W.M. Mendis and Company Limited. An order was issued on the Lanka Financial Services Bureau Limited to provide all PTL secondary market transaction details for the investigations to verify if these transactions were physically documented by PTL and the same was fed into the RTGS system at the central bank. Jeffrey Aloysius, the chairman of the Perpetual Group, was issued notice to assist the detectives to ascertain PTL documents from their Parkland Building office in Columbia 2. Walt and Row Associates was ordered to provide statements on their assets and transactions as well. Arjun Aloysius and Kasun Palisena were further remanded until the 7th of June.